Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful scrum cheese. Okay, this is very soft and very useful. Okay, and it holds the hair nicely. So we are going to learn for this how to make it. So for this we will need a rubber band. Okay which is pretty nice whichever color you like doesn't matter because it gets covered up with the yarn and today's hook i'm going to use this 4.5 millimeter hook and we will need a needle which has big loop okay and scissors and the yarn which i'm using is this puff con yarn from Pradhan Embroidery Store. Okay, so I brought this. It comes in a hank. Huh? So what I did is I rolled it up in cake and I made it into two parts. Okay, I made, divided it into two sections so that I can use it together. Like I'm going to hold this two strands together because it's really very thin yarn so to get this texture I'm going to use two strands okay so now let's get started let me get this aside okay so first I'm going to start with A slip knot on the hook okay and then tighten it like this then take the rubber band here hold the yarn then from inside we'll go like this and pull the yarn out and then slip knot in the hook and put a slip knot in that now I'm going to chain three one two and three okay now we are going to just do double crochets okay as many we can fit in this and i'm going to work on this tail over here as i go so yarn over insert the hook inside like this grab the yarn pull it out and then double crochet don't worry if your double crochets are loose the loose the better so just double crochet okay i know we can't see the stitches so that doesn't matter just remember that you have to double crochet okay just work like this When you get to a point like this, you just pinch it down, okay? So that we get that very tight form, like we get very thick content of material, as you see. You just need the band cover up totally and the scrunchy should be thick okay so just working half uh, double crochet slowly as you go and then just pulling it aside see i'm getting this wave that's what i need that's what i'm aiming for this wave which we get and that we get when you just pull the all the stitches together so for that remember that you have to do really loose stitches okay just be happy seeing the yarn come out so nicely so beautifully and keep your tension loose the more loose you keep the better it gets if you are unable if you are unable to keep your tension loose just go for a bigger hook 
okay instead of 4.5 you can go for a five or five and a half that even will give a good look and it will be loose so once you get 10 20 half double crochet just push them back till you see a wave going on okay so when you get the wave now continue uh, double crochet okay nearly 20 times i'm going to double crochet more and then push them to the previous ones to the here and so this is way this is how you will just double crochet sometimes it gets really difficult but not to worry everything is going to just be fine okay So just doing the double crochets and see now once I have got the lot amount just push it here till I get a wave here just push it there okay so go ahead and continue putting double crochets as many you need just to cover up the whole area and I will see you at the end As you reach to the end you see it becomes difficult to see the space don't worry just put the hook in the mirror and you can do is okay yeah just this part which is there this side just hold it with the other finger like this back so it doesn't come in your way and just put double crochet as much as you feel like that's enough for you it's better to put more because it really gives a good shape and a good a good softness to it okay so this is how I have done and I think that's enough for me. So now at last when you finish you just find with your finger here the first three chain we did. Just try to insert your hook at the top and pull the yarn and slip stitch. Then chain one and now we are just going to snip the yarn we don't need much tape okay done pull it through and pull it hard okay and it's done so this is how it's done now we are going to weave in that tail so now that's why i said we need a needle with this big hook so you just don't worry where your stitches are going just go like this okay and then insert it like this here okay and pull it through and that's how it's done and then you can if you need just pass it through again okay to secure it more firmly and then just give it a pull and now you can just snip the excesses you won't even know that where was the start and the end and it's so beautiful I love this puff, puff corn yarn. It is such a great yarn for making this countries and you can do many things. But I love the way it is done. It is so soft. 
I'm so beautiful. Okay. So this is all for today's video. I hope you have liked it and you made one for yourself. So okay. So thank you everyone for watching this video. So we'll see you in next video. Okay. Till then, take care.